Hey there folks, today I'm going to be showing you this OBD diagnostic tool from Launch. This is the Elite 2.0 series, and if we flip it over, here's the specifications on the back. I'll put a link in the description where you can purchase this. This unit in particular that I'm going to be linking is the GM unit. However, you can purchase other makes of vehicle, and I'll show you how to do that once we get it started. First thing we need to do is plug the cord in that it comes with. It only goes one way here. And we screw in our screws, make sure everything's all tightened down. Then you turn your key to the accessory position that is on with the engine not actually running. Locate your OBD port and plug it in. All right, so you'll notice as soon as you plug it into the OBD port, it starts charging. That's because it has its own built-in battery which is kind of cool. A lot of cheaper scanners don't have batteries built in and you always have to be in the vehicle with it plugged in to access any information. However, this, once you gather the information from your vehicle, you can take it anywhere. As long as you've got a charge on it, you can take it back into your house away from the vehicle and review all that information. So first thing we're gonna do is power this unit on, hold down your power button on top there and you'll see it starts up. And usually it will auto scan for your VIN number and collect your vehicle's information right off the hop. All right, so without touching anything, you can see it's kind of like a little slot machine there. That's the VIN number it's trying to detect. Now it's gathered the information. It sees that this is a Chevrolet, which is true. It's a Chevy Equinox. Hit OK. And it'll start its health report and it'll start pulling any codes that you have and scanning all the modules. So you select what region you're in. I only have two options here. I'm in Canada, so I'm just going to select other. Now the health report, that is all the modules. You'll see it'll start scanning all of them individually. If your vehicle is not equipped with a particular unit that it's scanning for, it'll just say not equipped. Now you see there's a fault code there, two of them. All right, so you're given this diagnosis report here. And you can enter your information, your personal information, into the settings. So it'll pop up with your shop name, the address, and the phone. So if you're sending this information to the customer, it'll pre-fill all this information. And it shows all the diagnosis report here, all the codes that it pulled. You can click on them and see what they're all about. And if you're hooked up to the Wi-Fi, I'm currently not because I'm outside in the car, you can hit share and then that will prompt you to fill out email information of your customer or you can email it to yourself and send this report to an email. You have a little camera up here. You can take a screenshot and it'll save it. All right, so if we want to do an activation test, a component activation, we go just back to the home screen with this home button here. We're going to hit diagnose, and instead of auto detect, you scroll to find your make of vehicle, click on it, and your menu will show you all the different features that this has. Just hit OK. And then we go automatically search. Yes. Tells you how to set up the ignition just with the key on. Hit OK. This is all your information. Just verify it. Then we go other for region. Then we go to system selection. And these are all the systems that you can do actuation tests on. So there's quite a few of them. And when you click each one, it brings up a submenu of that particular module. So we're going to just show you an example of ECM here. 
And then our manual, or sorry, our automatic transmission here. So you can look up your module information, the date that it was made, all that. You can read your fault codes, clear your fault codes. You can actually go to your data stream so you can see all your fuel trims, all that kind of stuff in live feed in a graph. And right here is the actuation test. So these are all the components in the ECM that you can actuate with this scanner. So for now, I'm just going to show you the EVAP system. You go to the purge solenoid valve. And you scroll down. The status is not run because the engine is not on. So we're going to hit increase, but I'm going to pop the hood and I'm going to show you outside of the vehicle so you can hear it activate. All right, so if I want to activate my purge solenoid, I hit increase, that'll send power to it to activate it, to test it, and you hear the click. And then when I want to stop the activation, I hit release control. So let's just hit increase. Now you can hear that clicking, that is the solenoid activating. And then you hit release control and it stops. All right, another example of an actuation test real quick before we move on to the next thing. We can go to our body control module. And if I go to actuation test, you can select windows. So I'm going to do the passenger window motor here. So if you look at the window right across from the camera here, we're going to say for it to go down. And we can make it go back up again. We're hit stop. And go back up again. So that's pretty cool. All right, now if you want to read live data, it's under the same menu as actuation test. You just saw us go to actuation test, which is down here. If you look just above it, you'll see read data stream. These are all the data streams that you can select from, and each one has their own sub menu. We're going to go to engine data. And this has 65 different data streams in that particular menu that we can select from. Now, I just did my manifold absolute pressure sensor, so I'd like to see how it's doing. And I'm gonna show you how to watch over that. So you select, you can do multiple ones at one time. We're just gonna show you the one though. Hit okay. And then you can see this is your current readout of the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And you'll see this little graph button just click on that and you can get a live read of the graph. Now you can see that is what a normal map sensor should look like. It'll go up and down just a little tiny bit, but not too much. This is just at idle. All right, and under this same menu that has your live data stream and your actuation test, if you scroll down and you have your special functions, you can relearn certain modules. So for example, if you replace your brake pos pedal position sensor, you will need to relearn that sensor. So that is all your data on that. And then you would hit learn and it'll take you through the process of relearning that sensor. So we're going to go inside and we're going to show you the Wi-Fi on here and how to update with different makes of vehicles. All right, so when you want to set up the Wi-Fi on your diagnostic tool, you go to settings, scroll down to network, select your Wi-Fi network, click on it and type in your password and you'll be connected to Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you can use that feature I told you about where you can send in an email your report. So you'd go to data, this unit will save all of your diagnostic reports. So you'd click on the one that you want to send. 
and just double check everything, you would hit share. You'd put your email of the person you want to send it to. You can put your subject line and a message just like it were an email. Scroll down and hit send and that'll send the diagnostic report to whoever you want it to be sent to. And if you go back here, the picture that we took is under image. So all your screenshots are saved under image. You can click on it and see what you took. So if you aren't gonna be near Wi-Fi and you wanna take a picture of the codes, you can snapshot it so you can still access it later. All right, and as I said, this particular scanner is preloaded with General Motors software. However, if you do want to purchase other software for other vehicles, you would go to mall and you have to have this connected to your Wi-Fi to be able to access this. So you have passenger vehicle, motorcycle, EV. So you can select all, and these are all the ones that you can do. You can narrow the search down according to what you want to look at and all the prices are there, you can buy them. So if you click all, you can type in, if you're looking for a particular one, use the keypad and search for it and then purchase it and the software will be loaded onto here as well. And if you want to upgrade, you hit the button there and these are all the upgrades that are currently available. So you will upgrade it anytime it has those upgrades available. And you can go to D DTC library. We're gonna take a code for an example. If you wanna look up a code for somebody really quick, you can type in any code you want. Just scroll through the numbers till you have your code on your screen, hit okay. And it'll give you a very descript reason for having that code. So you can educate yourself on why you're having the code. So that's all there is to it. Huge thumbs up on this. This is a very affordable scan tool and it is very capable for the low cost that it is. It can do a whole ton of different things as I showed you in the demonstration. So big thumbs up. Thanks again to Launch for sending this and link is in the description for where you can get this. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.